Yes. <laughs> Retro arcade music, baby! At just the touch of a button. Woohoo! Outrun this! Hey, today we're gonna need this. And the reason why we're gonna need this is because I'm gonna show you just exactly how easy it is and how convenient it is to install Spotify on your Elgato Stream Deck. And for that, I'm gonna have to film my fingers pressing some buttons. I'm Machine Dana, welcome to the video. I hope you're doing really, really well. You can press buttons, play, like, playlists, songs, turn volume up, things like that. You can even launch the application from your Stream Deck as well. Hopefully you guys find this really, really useful. I found it really, really useful. Just one word of warning though, as we go through the instructions of how to do this in the video, we are gonna use a third party app by a guy named Bar Raider. I'm not responsible or the developer of that app. If you have issues, with the application i'll try my best to help but i might not be able to answer every single question so i'm sorry in advance if i can't answer any questions diagnose if it doesn't work but hopefully it'll work for most of you if you find this useful feel free to like the video it definitely helps me also if you want to subscribe feel free to as well finally if you want to ask me any questions on my stream you can check me out at twitch.tv forward slash machine dana let's roll First and foremost, let's just check out what this actual application for the Stream Deck can do. I'll demo my own Spotify profile here within my own sort of Spotify folder. This isn't my whole Stream Deck, it's just a subfolder when I want to go into Spotify related stuff. This button here is a launch application button. So it launches the Spotify button. You can navigate here. This just launches the application using like a directory. Just click this button here and you can navigate to the Spotify launcher and that will launch Spotify when I press it. These buttons here are actually just system hotkeys with no hotkey assigned to them because they are just null keys. They don't do anything. They're purely decorative. And I'll link a video in the description about how you can set up the wallpapers on your stream deck because they make a really aesthetically pleasing addition to your stream deck. And here on the right hand side, we get to the meat and bones of the integration we've got a kind of visual title and image of the song we skip forward and backwards this one here is to like and dislike a song i'm not sure why it's not working at the moment these are set specific volume so it will set the volume at 40 at 60 and 90 percent volume these ones here will up and down it by increments of 10 depending on where the volume particularly is this will mute spotify this will give song information it will actually copy song information to your clipboard so you can then just paste it in chat or something like that and this is to remove a song from playlist and there's another couple of things that you can do as well on the list here on the right hand side we're using spotify's bar raider application here but first what we need to do on the stream deck is to install the bar raider spotify app and then it will guide you through most of the steps and also there's some like links to further help if you are struggling with this application you want help from the developers they've got a discord link as well so you need to go in the bottom right hand corner within the elgato stream deck menu onto more actions and you can just sort applications by alphabetical if you've already got it installed then it will show here an uninstall button you can see this has been installed about 180,000 times bar radio it's version 2.5 that i'm using at the moment and it says here control spotify and get live feedback all on your stream deck a spotify premium account is required this is probably going to be the most common problem that people experience most people do not have a spotify premium account most people have the i think there's like a mid-level where you can pay i think it's like 10 pounds per month if you're uk it's probably like 12 dollars a month if you're us but there's like an upgraded version which allows api access and i think it for me it's like 50 15 pounds per month so it's a few pounds more i'm going to click install on this it's a very quick installation it shouldn't take long at all now these buttons that i've already got installed are now showing that there's a stream key issue this is just a replica of my profile i'm going to actually delete all of these and it's each time it's now going to ask me to link and we'll go through this process in a second but now i'm just going to delete the buttons Okay, so we've deleted all of the buttons. Let's just add a play button here. Get rid of that for now. We'll add a skip button here to replicate. And we'll drag across a previous song button here. And then we'll do like an, a volume up and down here as well. Volume up and volume down. Volume mute at the bottom there. Finally, we'll just put some song information here. And now we're going to go through the process of following the steps here. First of all, we need to link our Spotify account to this application to allow the API key to work, uh, to allow this application to essentially access your, your playlists and things like that. So we're going to link account now. At the moment, we now ask for a client ID and a secret key. Never share your client ID or secret key with anyone. At this point, we're going to click on the 
information to get info about how we install this properly. This is essentially like a written version of what this video is going to be. But just for the sake of demonstration here, I've pushed over this click here link to the right hand side. Still got the application here. I still also have this API window open as well. I've just got it minimized. Plugin will not work if you skip a step. So follow the steps slowly. At this point, what we need to do is create an application within the Spotify API dashboard. Sounds pretty complicated, but it's pretty straightforward to do. Go on to the developer.spotify.com forward slash dashboard. It'll open a new browser. And we can create an application here. We essentially need to go through the process of naming the application, authorizing the application and linking the application. It's pretty straightforward. So we're going to give it a name. We'll just call this machine Dana. And I'm going to give this a description just to remind myself. I'm going to put data. You added this as an application when creating a link between Elgato, Dream Deck and Spotify. You've got to agree to the terms and conditions, create. We now have technically an application that can be used. Now we just have to go to the edit settings to add a few more details. Click onto edit settings here. Step five is to copy this URL here, which is a GitHub URL into the website section just here this one for the redirect basically the same one we need to click add on that before proceeding to the next one and we can remove it if we get it wrong by any chance at this point we've got these two things and it looks exactly like that so just double check that it looks the same they're obviously being really overly cautious here to try and reduce the amount of requests they get of people that can't set this up and i understand that really so at this point we can now show the client secret and essentially this is the key to be able to authorize communication between the third party application and your spotify account obviously you don't want to be giving this information away you have the option to reset the key as well if you suspect that somebody hacked you or something like that but at this point we've actually got the two bits of information to copy over into the application on the stream deck app i'm just going to pop back to buttons i'm going to click the buttons here i'm going to click link account and all we do is copy and paste the information so the client id and the client secret Quick submit. So at this point, there's a request to click on a link from the Bar Raider app, and that will approve the app on Spotify's website. We'll click this now. It'll open up a new browser, and we'll just check here that this actually is the profile that you want to link. If this isn't the profile you want to link, you need to log out of your Spotify and log into the correct account and repeat all of the process that I've just showed you in this video. But obviously, check that it's not you. You can click this link quickly here to log out if you want. So I'm going to agree to that. We've now got an approval code here, which we just going to copy and paste in the approval code in this field here submit the code and then we'll get a confirmation message that it's been approved and at this point now we should see that the icons will disappear and these buttons will be usable now i just want to actually check if this works well i just tested it here and there's actually just one little step that we need to do as well we need to make sure that the device is selected here at the bottom on the play button this is the play button and we can see that the key is still red here indicating that it's not worked you can click reload devices to refresh the different devices that are there and we're selecting my desktop your desktop the application that you actually want it to play through. You are able to revoke access of the application by scrolling down here. One of the reasons this didn't work just now is that I, I'd already placed the buttons on the Stream Deck before I went through the setup process. So what I just had to do is actually right click and delete the button from the Stream Deck and drag in a new play and pause button in select the device and this then worked as indicated and this is now pulling in data from spotify the application providing it's open on your desktop you do need to make sure that you've opened this up on your desktop like me you could just have a launch application button there as well and now this should now work we'll just retest it there you go and we'll try clicking skip and it works. There are a list of common issues on the Bar Raider website as well. And they've also got a Twitch and a Twitter channel here and also the Discord channel. So ideas, help, features. Go into their Discord channel if you've got any questions or issues with this. All in all, including recording this video, this is taking me like 15, 20 minutes to do. If I wasn't recording the video, this probably would have taken me all of like four or five minutes to do. So you should be able to get this set up pretty quickly. 
there you have it how you can set up elgato stream deck spotify integration and it works really really well sometimes it's just slightly laggy when you first load it up but i recommend trying this out before you go live on stream just for like a few seconds to make sure that it like refreshes its cache and then it works really really well i've been using this for like six or seven months now and i found it to be really good so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe and take care